Hello, Cherry Ghost here, and this is my first tutorial video for Minecraft troubleshooting. <coughs> I was looking on the uh, Minecraft forums lately, and there has been uh, a good few people having problems uh, with various issues and not getting uh, very far with uh, some solutions. So I thought I'd start um, showing you some videos how to fix some of those issues. And um, one of the more interesting ones that I came across is actually the. Um, the chunk errors. Uh, of course, you can get it in single player or on server. Um, usually, uh, people wouldn't notice it on a server or in single player unless they have some sort of um, map or cartograph mapped out. And generally, the symptoms are that when you're in a certain area, the whole game lags or the server crashes or whatever. So, um, yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to show you how to find the chunk error that's been the culprit, and I'll show you how to fix it. So first of all, I will. I'm going to base this. I'm gonna, I've already done this repair, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I did it. First of all, so first of all, I went to FileZilla, the server that we had uh, is Talon's Minecraft server, and there was a chunk error on it. Um, well, I didn't notice a chunk error until I was on the cartograph. So what I'll do, what I do is, I first of all go into uh, FileZilla. I get my world, and what I did is I just dragged world into the desktop. So I done that. I went into my computer, C drive, users, Cherry Ghosts, App Data, Roaming, Minecraft, saves, and I went in there and named. It world one. Now I downloaded a program called uh, let's see now MC Edit. Uh, it's called Mine MC Edit, short for Minecraft Edit. Uh, you'll see it on the forum. Um, it's basically a program that allows you to edit the uh, Minecraft worlds outside of the um, outside of the actual game itself. So you can't have Minecraft running when you're doing all this. Uh, another thing that you're going to need is Cartograph G for the beta. Uh, so download yourself a copy of this because uh, this Cartograph will actually show you where the errors are. And um, I'll show you the links in the ca in the uh, description if you, if you want. So basically, I have them downloaded. Uh, I open up Cartograph. Um, Open up Cartograph like so. Choose the world one that I just named. What I done was I just uh, classic Cartograph east side and a nice symmetric view. Render. Gave it a few minutes and it rendered a photo or a picture just like this here. So now I have the uh, Minecraft server world all in a pretty picture form. It looks so nice, isn't it? But of course, people were getting lag errors, and I was trying to figure out where in the world they're going to find lag errors. I mean, how would you identify lag errors on a map? Well, it's quite simple. 95% uh, of the uh, chunk errors, you'll see them like this. You'll see a massive, massive blocks, and um, that wouldn't be there. That was actually um, some light somebody started making before the server went balls up. Um, so yeah, uh, the, the other symptom is you see a tear going right across the map. Um, usually that means the chunk or the map either hasn't rendered fully or the chunk hasn't been identified uh, or it got corrupted while re rendering the chunk. So it's just a case of keep trying until you see something like this. So now that we've found the error, it's right beside a pig and a guy frying some pancakes for pancake juice that just passed. So I close that off. I open up MC Edit, which I have downloaded and installed. Now, just uh, I have this edited already, but just for um, the sake of uh, showing you how to do it, uh, I just also enlarge it. So I click World One, which is the world I just named, and I will wait for the map to render. So this is the. Uh, this is a, uh, this is actually where I left off. This is the pig here, and usually when you're play on uh, MC Edit, the uh, the area that's corrupt will lag, and uh, you'll it'll take nearly five minutes to render a chunk. 
um, as you can see this is actually the map that's the area that I've already uh, already deleted but um, you can't tell you can't actually see those mess uh, those messy blocks that I showed you earlier on the cartograph in the chunk itself you can just tell exactly by location and by the fact that the whole program lags out oh, there's something wrong with this it must be because of the size of the actual program so what I did was I selected again and what's it doing over there? I don't know. Hold on one second. Uh, obviously, it doesn't like being resized. I'm going to quit it. Or I'll save and quit. Now, so I close it off again. I'll open it up. And it's opening up in full screen. It's not what I want. Okay, let's try like this. World one. And I'm back. And I'm back to the default settings that I already had. So anyway, I want to uh fill in this hole. So I select the area. And just like that. You have different commands at the bottom. You've got select, which is what I'm doing right now, brush, clone. Fill and replace, filter, import, move player, move spawn point, and chunk control. So I'm going to fill and replace. Uh, I'm going to replace it with stone. And of course, you can replace it with whatever you want, really, including future blocks, of course, which don't exist yet. But it's um, so I'm going to click stone. I'm going to click fill. And that area is filled with stone. Uh, bear in mind that this uh, entire um, program is a beta, or it's an alpha even, um, so that it's not properly working but I'll show you now one second I'll just save it first so it's control and S to save or I just pick control and then you click save so it's saved I'll close that off and I'll open up Minecraft nope multiplayer no and I'm going to play the world And there's the pig, and here is the area that I have replaced. Um, it's quite funny actually because even if if you replace the entire chunk with um, with stone, what happened with me was it just literally reverted back to its original its original chunk, which I can't complain that much. But then again, I got this bar of this bar of um, stone here that kept for some reason it must have been uh, a chunk, um, different chunk here. But anyways, I just deleted the other chunk beside it, and it just literally just re-rendered itself. So, but uh, it doesn't work if you don't fill it with stone. Um, I was, I tried to fill it up, but um, I tried to leave it the way it was, and when I did, it just it was just an empty hole. So, once I filled it with stone, it was fine. Um, but yeah, that's basically how you fix a chunk. Obviously, I have no uh, lag issues or render issues right now. Uh, sorry about the, uh, the tutorial has been a bit of a mess really <laughs> didn't exactly do what I wanted so uh, yeah that's pretty much how it's done so thanks and subscribe well, actually before I say that um, what I do is then I just go back into the Minecraft thing and just re-upload my uh, world back onto the server just uh, delete the, the corrupted one and drag in the new one uh, that's it Okay, thanks and subscribe for more